What up my freaks, Ruinison Sight here, welcoming you to part one of a brand new modded Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 Let's Play. One of the most requested things on this channel, going back for a very long time, a return to Battlefleet Gothic, now with the Skalgrim mod. I'm very excited to come back to this as I absolutely adore this game, and uh, I find that it does a fantastic job of bringing the Warhammer 40k setting to life. Anyway, for those unfamiliar with it, the Skalgrim mod is an overhaul type mod, focusing on changing tons of stats and abilities, rebalancing the game for more fleets and much bigger battles of the type of uh, battles that we find in the massive battles that were added. And I just said battles way too much there, didn't I? And of course, adding a ton of new ships with new weapons, including titans and mega titans, which are just, just, just bonkers. I don't have anything else to say about them. We uh, will see them later. As for the factions, I've ultimately decided on going with an Imperial campaign. Obviously, the campaign is limited to the Imperium, Necrons, Tyranids, and Chaos. And I think I think that experiencing the mod for the very first time, the Imperials are probably going to be the best choice because they have the Navy, Admech, and Space Marines all sort of combined into one factions, which is, I mean, it's appropriate, it does make sense, but uh, that does give them much more variety than all the other factions. Plus, as I understand it, the next version of the Skalgrim mod will feature the Necrons and will have new Necron ships, so we might as well experience a more complete campaign, or more cam complete modded campaign, I should say, uh, when we have it. Anyway, before we get started, I do have a couple of housekeeping things to note, as we usually do at the start of any campaign, but there will of course be timestamps below to skip to gameplay or to the setup or whatnot. Now, regarding scheduling, those of you familiar with this channel know that I don't personally determine what episodes are posted when, I just post what the YouTube algorithm tells me to post via analytics. Frankly, it's the simplest way to determine what Let's Play you guys are most interested in seeing. So in short, if you want to see updates posted often, don't forget to drop those likes and comments on each episode as engagement is what manipulates the YouTube algorithm into favoring any particular Let's Play. And if you want to do the same just to support the channel, well then we uh, won't be burning you with the rest of these Xenos and Heretics. Unless you like that sort of thing, so then I should giggle, yada yada. Now uh, finally, a huge shout out to Skalgrim for all the work on the mod as this game definitely deserves some love. Uh, modders putting in hundreds of typically unpaid hours into a labor of love to make our favorite games better have all of my respect. And a double finally, I guess. Another huge shout out to all my regular commenters for all the sport, discussions, game tips, jokes and stories and whatnot. All the comments just praising the glory of the algorithm. It's all hugely appreciated. I do have a stressful day job. I just do YouTube for fun and you guys keep it keeping it fun is what keeps the channel going. All right, all right, that's enough chatter. Uh, glory to the God Emperor and glory to the Yon Messiah in its avatar of the YouTube algorithm. Let's get to it. So we're going to start off with the setup. I'm going to go on a sort of a... Uh, modified thing. This is essentially identical to the hard difficulty, but I'm going to reduce the threat level modifier from zero, uh, from one to zero, which is identical to medium level, because the threat level modifier kind of annoys me and it just does a lot of unnecessary evasion in the late game. And uh, I don't really want to deal with a billion invasions because I feel like they waste time. I would rather experience several modded campaigns in quick succession than waste an extra like 10 episodes dealing with nothing but invasions because it's just unnecessary. And the other thing, I don't believe in increasing enemy weaponry or leadership modifiers. I'm going to keep them at 100%, but leave the enemy fleet capacity modified at uh, extra as well as the enemy level ship modifier uh, just to compensate for the AI's general weakness. So just a little preset that I call tough but fair. It's essentially hard, but with uh, some slight modifications. Anyway, we'll confirm that. Custom skip campaign tutorial, yes. We shall skip the campaign tutorial, as I do generally recall how these things are done. Now, uh, I guess we're going to have to read this. You know, I will be watching all the uh, all the cutscenes in this because I did miss them, and they're frankly pretty great. And they're also very short, so I hope you guys don't mind, for those of you who have seen them before. Hope you missed them just as much as I did. Anyway, let's do the reading. The far-flung Imperium of Man knows only war, a war for survival. Assailed by traitors, treacherous Xenos, and the uncaring galactic wastes, humanity battles on as the Emperor's light grows ever darker. The Cadian Gate stands besieged by abominations from within the Eye of Terror. It falls to Admiral Spire, hero of the Gothic War, to marshal the Imperium's scattered fleets and hold the line against the horrors of chaos. Alrighty, let's play the campaign. I'm excited. The Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. 
It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnissiah's holy cause. The Scholar Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress hymnals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral. The year. It's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that. It's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral. Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154-554. This isn't over. Damn right this isn't over. How could I possibly skip that freaking cutscene? Uh, Alright, let's get to it. Hopefully it doesn't freeze. I have not really playtested the campaign on the mod. I did jump into a skirmish to just to make sure that it works and that we have all the new ships, and it is indeed the fact that we do. So here's hoping that the campaign also works. Such turbulence. Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far. But not close enough. Still. We have been fortunate. Have our astropaths send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. Wait, did he say hold this position? Another so-called warrior come to charge his blade. I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, Lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the Warmaster's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. 
All right, Battleship Agamemnon. This is a new ship. This is a mod ship. It, uh, I don't remember Spire starting with one of these things. And that's for sure, and I don't imagine that he would have started with a battleship in any event. And damn, the firepower on this thing, just looking at it immediately. Six heavy macro cannon batteries, a pair of bombardment cannon turrets on top of it. The sons of Mars stand ready for your orders. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. We'll see them ended. Coordinates... Alrighty, looks like we got a decent amount of enemies coming in already. Let's try to uh, get a torpedo volley in there. Uh, you guys let me know how much of this game you want me to explain, because I imagine some people will not have seen uh, the gameplay before, although obviously... Um, I assume most of the people watching this would have, but just in case. Although it is pretty self-explanatory, explanatory, rather it is naval-style tactics. And let's see, okay, we need to get the battleship here, and you know what, I want to go into reload stance, we do have to get up close. And, I mean, these are all trash little frigates. So we, we're just going to block you, shield you rather. <laughs> oh, they're going to have a bad time. Battleships versus frigates. Okay, you know what? You are about to lose your shields. Brace, please. Weapon destroyed. I don't like that. Go for a uh, stance of the Omnissiah. And there we go. Battleships, stop where you are. Probably could have rammed some of the enemy ships. Alrighty, yeah, now we are firing in both directions, which is exactly what we want. You're taking a little bit more damage than I would have liked. Uh, probably don't need to launch a Torps. I think what I want to do is get you right over here, get you behind this ship. You stay where you are. In fact, mark up the enemy so that we get the uh, marked bonus on them. There we go. And your shield should be back up at any second. We don't really need to board anybody. Does this battleship have high energy turns? Yes, indeed it does. Well, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Bombardment cannons should break this thing apart very, very quickly. And now, you know what, let's slow it down a little bit and try to get some ac action shots. I am just trying to uh, recover my knowledge of how exactly to control everything. It's nice that we do get to start off with these smaller battles with not a lot of enemy ships. I also no longer remember how to uh, hide. Yes, I do remember how to hide. <laughs> ah, lovely. Um, but how do we increase the speed? Like so. Oh, okay. Easy enough. Okay, maybe I do remember how to control it. <laughs> oh, lovely. And burn retros. What is the hotkey for you? Okay, I'll just try to use that without the hotkeys for now. You're in a good place. I guess we... Let's wait for a bigger ship to come along. Now you, you're a frigate sword with a double barrel like macro turret, which means we don't have to face it forward or anything like that. I want to see some ship explosions now. Generally speaking, I don't like to use slow motion at all. Uh, same goes for this game as Total Warhammer, just because I find it a little bit too slow. But for the action shots, it's obviously nice to get some nice uh, shots going at the uh, slower speed, especially as the game does often feel a little bit too fast, considering that these are ships. And there we go, and the ships can still shoot right through each other. Now, you're not going to take enough damage to your shields, I believe, from just a single frigate. Yeah, you'll be fine, and this one should be gone any second now. There we go. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. A pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. With matchless efficiency! Seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. What are you talking about? <laughs> All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Beneficent Emperor? Is that what I think it is? The sons of dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough. But hope and faith bring victory sooner. The war never ends, Lord Admiral. 
We shall fight it together. I certainly hope so. Alrighty, Idolator's Ecstasy. Idolator's Ecstasy, whatever. Uh, let's target your engines, although we don't really need to. Chaos ships are quite fragile, and we have a freaking battleship. In fact, if this is the only ship that they're going to be coming along with, we could just go ahead and attack. Now, the first time, or the first two times I actually played the Imperial Campaign, although obviously not modded, I got Spire a Retribution Battleship because I like to ram. Now, you... What do you have here? You don't have a ram, do you? Uh, spur. You do have a spur. Oh, lovely. Okay, I guess Spire is gonna be keeping this Agamemnon thing around. Let's slow this down. Oh. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> ah, those torps aren't gonna hit, unfortunately, because I think we were a little bit too close, but, uh, the ram should hit nonetheless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. And does that destroy you? It looks like you're on fire and your HP is very, very low. Another volley from the macro cannon should take care of you. And there we go. I mean, this entire game is made for screenshots. Look at this freaking thing. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's put it back up. And like so. There we go. That should be the victory. vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships. Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. All righty. Now this is obviously in the timeline before the Psychic Awakening and stuff. from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. You gotta love Spire. He's a pretty great character. All right, uh, counteroffensive. On direct orders from Lord High Admiral Drang, Admiral Spire must regain control over systems within the Cadian sector that are currently held by Chaos forces. Uh, Cadian system. Yeah, thanks, game. Thanks. <laughs> All righty. So because we are in the mod, uh, the fleet costs are considerably different from what they would normally be. We have a battleship here, and uh, so are the costs of recruitment. Now, unfortunately, the way that the mod works is all the new ships are actually added into the battleship class, even the ones that I don't believe are battleships. Uh, like, see, we have Imperator Somnium, which is a Mega Titan, I believe, and it is a 1400 cost. Yeah, so that's obviously going to be a while before we can unlock those. Yeah, there's the Retribution. Spire's uh, the thing that I had him in originally, and he got not the Oberon, the uh, Retribution. This thing is lovely. I, I, I have a... Uh, I love the Retribution. And now, uh, you, Agamemnon, you, did, you made a pretty good showing of yourself, but you're at 185. You're actually cheaper than the Retribution. They both have spurs, but... Uh, Oh, the Retribution has low maneuverability, so it can't do the high energy turn, which is actually pretty interesting, and I certainly uh, like the use of it. And obviously, you have the plasma macro batteries as opposed to the heavy macro batteries here. Hmm. Oh, but you have double the torps, two torpedo launchers. Fascinating. I hope that there's not too much power creeps. Oh, and you have Lance turret as opposed to the uh, massive amounts of uh, heavy bombard or bombardment cannons and heavy macro turrets. That's interesting. I actually would prefer all in on the macro because you become essentially a close combat brawler and we could use you as we would use something uh, like an overlord well ironically the overlord also has the uh is the overlord is actually a mini retribution because of the plasma and the lance turrets but nonetheless uh mm, i guess it would be more Anyway, that's all. That's all. Uh, that's all. Something we'll learn about uh, later. Oh, Banisher is a uh, Grand Cruiser. Actually, can't wait to unlock all the new stuff. Anyway, uh, we do have to get some ships going. We can we build stuff this very turn? Do we have enough uh, building points? I no longer remember how to check. Judging by the fact that we can't, I can't. Oh no, shipyard of it. That's why. 
<laughs> but you could definitely see that the ship recruitment costs are a lot cheaper. All right, well, since we have no way of getting new ships on the field, we're going to move everybody and we're going to get a battle going right away. I assume we can't upgrade this world to anything either. It is a hive world, which means we have to maximize output as fast as possible. We are losing income, uh, which is unfortunate. Oh, damn, 480. Well, we won't be reclaiming Cadia all that soon. Claustin appears to be unguarded, and Helotas both appear to be unguarded. There's an aggro world here. I don't really care about aggro worlds this early on, but there is a mining world as well as a minor shipyard here in Claustin, so we do want to take that really quick. Alrighty, well, we could fight this uh, with all... Can we see what's in this fleet? I don't think we can, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, let's just fight this. I was tempted to just kind of send somebody to take Claustin... Because we don't really have to have everybody here, do we? Uh, we have the Endeavor. Mars Pattern Reactor feeds. The Nova Cannon skill gl gets unlimited loads. Excuse me? That's disgusting. Uh, let's see. Teleport Bomb. To okay, it's a Stasis Bomb. What do you have? Spire Plasma Bomb and Short Burn Torps. So we should keep you in a Torp ship. And you have First Company Terminators as well as Supercharged Void Shield to uh, protect yourself. But you only have the one ship. But it is a better ship being a Vanguard... Mm, then the Endeavor light cruiser, huh? I'm just wondering if these two... You know what? I think they can. I'm going to send you here to Claustin. And we're going to claim this right away. Take control. There we go. And then we're going to fight two on one here, but uh, relatively even in terms of what we got in terms of points available. Fleet points, rather. 209 versus 269. We're still ahead. Plus, we have a freaking battleship. There's no way that they could possibly destroy this thing. Let's do it. Ten thousand years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus Heresy. Ten millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, his body ashes and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against Chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the Civil Wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own, and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Did the narrator just question the value of faith in the uh, 40k setting? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guess faith alone, not enough. But uh, yeah, I'm about to be burned as a heretic myself, aren't I? Alrighty, so let's get into this. Now we do have our uh, much, much more fragile... Uh, uh, I was about to say battle barge, but no, light cruiser over here. We should, I do wonder what new ships the space marines have. It can't, it can't just be the two battle barges and the, okay, well, well I guess we'll find out. Alrighty, let's get to this. Now, the enemy are bringing probably a lot more lighter ships, and oh, it looks like they're launching fighters, or oh, quite a few of them, unfortunately. The Agamemnon does not have good, uh, Understood. defenses. What we can do here, however, is a launch a Stormhawk Interceptor Squadron to guard a you, my friend. And we could just get into this gas cloud. We will shield the strike, or light cruiser, I keep thinking of it as a strike cruiser. 
I guess we could launch some torps, but the problem is uh, there are some destroy bits here, and I think that's going to be problematic. Now, we're in the cloud, so their fighters will be heading back. We're just going to cloud jump over to this cloud next, hide in here Underway. until they approach. Let's speed it up while the enemy approaches. I would like to get another battle going in this particular episode if this one doesn't take too long. We serve. And go, go, go. In fact, if they get a little bit closer, we might be able to launch a nice volley of torps. Uh, you guys start off with the lock-on stance, although obviously since you're pretty much all macros, we will be switching you to reload as soon as we get in there. Now, what do you have in terms of weaponry, by the way? Uh, light bombardment cannon and a light macro battery weapon. So honestly, the same type of deal with you, minus the fact that you have ordnance to launch. And you... Turn, turn in place though, and then you stay here. You are going to relaunch your fighters. You get ready to launch. You know what? Launch Meltas first. Go, and then turn right back and get a plasma bomb going right there. We can't see them yet. I probably should have launched our ordnance to uh, identify the enemies, but oh well. Oh, and I hope that at least some of those Meltas hit, and that certainly did. Heading acknowledged. Yeah, if we had a minor, uh, a minor ship, like oh, did one of them get destroyed here? Or was that just the destruction of the torps? Alright, coming to range. They haven't identified us with the mark yet, despite the fact that the AI Changing does cheat course. in this game and actually knows where you are. Alright, they'll identify us any second now. There we go. You know what? Switch to reload immediately. We're fairly close to the enemy. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna select you as the number one target. Ooh, wow, you are very badly damaged. I guess those melters really did their work. You. Board this guy. You know what? Move. You stay in the cloud, you're about to be able to launch those Thunderhawks, and you know what, go for a lightning strike on you. You've got plenty of troop capacity, so I think we're okay there. And yeah. Like so, Ooh, we do have another plasma bomb, but I think we'll use that on the new incoming ships. In fact, wait, we can turn in such a way with a high energy maneuver. There we go. And yeah, you're starting to take a little bit of damage. Oh, you got boarded again. And you know what? You identify this ship here. Launch interceptors to destroy this little tiny ship back here. And there we go. You should be dead. You need protection now. Uh, don't ram. Don't, no, no, no. You're too fragile. Please don't ram. There we go. Okay, you're good. I want to be firing in both directions. And you should be exploding any second. Now to watch the explosion while we're at it, though. We serve. Gotta strike a fine balance between being able to watch things happen and actually remain in control of the actual ships. Uh, oh, hello, we got our leader, our fleet captain, you. Gonna be our next target. Uh, let's board that thing. It will board us soon. You know what, let's get that plasma bomb going right in front of it. I hope that angle was not screwed up. Oh, is that a bomber fleet? Yes, it is. Or a flight, rather, not a fleet. You get those torps launched like this. Uh, I don't remember the timings on the torps, unfortunately, so hopefully, hopefully, yes. At least when it's close by, it's relatively easy to aim, but when it's far away, you gotta remember the timings. And just like that, the enemy fleet is shattered pretty easy when you have a battleship to start off of. And uh, this is a pretty decent run, although I guess not as decent as the uh, Retribution. I'd actually be curious to see how its stats have been modified. Pla I wonder if Plasma Macros have gotten a lot of modifications. And I will be curious to check out some of the newer ships. Uh, so let's see, we got some Renown, which is uh, lovely, but not nearly close enough to a level up. And with that, a Demios Binary as ours. And I guess it was the right decision to send you to Kloss, and I might, might have actually been better off sending you all the way to Helotas on the same turn as well. But, you know, obviously it's been a while, so I don't remember the uh, best actions to take in terms of starting off a campaign. Anyway, let's end the turn. Since none of our worlds have uh, shipyards... Wait, you have a shipyard, actually. Uh, you have one point in you. So, uh, that would allow us to build one of these things. Wow, I love how much cheaper the, uh, the tiny little escorts are now. That's great. That's really great. I've, I've always hated wasting tons of money on the escorts, especially as we will have absolutely massive battles closer to the end of this campaign. With the ludicrous numbers of ship, ships, the uh, escorts and the smaller ships will just drop like flies, so they really should be cheap, as it is uh, annoying to otherwise recruit them. Now, Clauston, you appear to have a shipyard that only generates one point, so I guess what we'll do... Uh, what... I think I want to get a bunch of Firestorms with the Light Lance batteries, especially since they're cheaper. I mean, we 
Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go for that. I mean, what are the other options? We could go for torpedo carriers, but I think I'm gonna go firestorms. And then Demios binary, we're gonna save that point and get one of the light cruisers after that. Hello. We have Defender, a light macro batteries, and a light lance turret, as well as the heavy lance artillery. So we could keep you back while the Agamemnon fires, for example. I'll try to think about this. You two both have torps, and the only difference is macro batteries versus lance batteries. Okay. I feel like torps and macros should go together, whereas lances and not macros. Uh, you have light lance turrets. Oh, and you have the launch bays. Huh. Considering the fact that you have the launch base, I feel like you should be a little bit more expensive, but you're not. Probably gonna get a couple of these Defiance. I mean, I guess they got basically nothing in terms of weaponry, which is why they're not all that uh, expensive. Maybe a couple Defenders and a couple Defiance, at least early on before we unlock the next level. Anyway, that's done. You guys cannot assault Katia, nowhere near. You can, however. We can head to Varga Torque. We could head, no, we cannot head to Xerxia because that's 513. Exceltra Minor is empty though. Okay. And yeah, 500. 200 is the only one we could really deal with. Okay, so here's what we'll do. You're gonna go here. Let's get at least one more battle this episode. And let's see, Helotas, you have the Agro World, so we could technically skip you. You also have an Agro World, as well as a Gas Cloud. Provides 200 resources immediately. Okay, so... Ooh, wait, you know what I want to check with you? You are a Space Marine ship. Oh, yeah, look at all these freaking space, new Space Marine ships. I cannot wait. This is another reason I want to go with the uh, custom difficulty. I want to be able to book it to the uh, final level or the uh, level 7 to 9, and get all the newer stuff earlier. Invincible Reason, Hrofkna, oh, these are specific ships. Oh, fascinating. Oh, it'll be fun to have the entire, I wonder if you could have the entire lineup. Nah, that'll probably be too many. Oh, and they all have different weapons, and these are the uh, special weapons as well. Volkite Lance. Oh, that'll be exciting. And we could just outright build the phalanx, which means we don't get it, I take it? Hmm, interesting. All right, and Mechanicus. Let's see what you've got in terms of new ships as well. You've got an Archaeotech Arc. Oh, what are you? And how do you defer? Heavy Seeker Missile Barrage. Oh, yeah, you've got a lot of new stuff as well. Yeah, this is exactly why I wanted to go for the, uh, for the Mechanic, or for the Imperials. Look at all these new ships. Skitarius Arc. Yeah, so basically a bunch of different types of arcs. We've got a Mars-class carrier with six freaking heavy launch bays and a super heavy launch bay. A uh, Damn. Fabricator Arc Domus. I take it this is a Titan or a Super Titan. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, I'm excited to check those out. All right, all right. So to check those out, we need to level up. You guys... Uh, you know what? You, follow along. You can help out with this, I guess. Whereas you are going to keep conquering in the meantime. Take Exceltra Minor. Conquer it, please. And then you can take Helotas next turn, especially as we are limited in our shipyards right now. And then we'll have to take the entire complement of, uh, of our fleets into one of these places after that. I'm not entirely sure where. From us is another ag agro world, which I don't really care about. Xerxia is a hive world. Okay, that means we're going for Xerxia next for the extra re uh, resources. And you are not ready to be leveled up yet. Damn it, it's gonna take a while. You're an unsustainable world at that. Research station mechanic, a song clave. All right, let's do it. Launch a battle. I mean, same type of deal, we're heading against the Red Corsairs. I really wish, like, in Total Warhammer, you could see the uh, types of ships that the enemy were carrying, but I guess in space it sort of does make sense that uh, we can't see anything. And because we don't know what they have in their fleet, beyond some vague idea of their numbers, especially if we're approaching them from far away. Maybe there should be, like, a special ability with, like, scouts to reveal stuff, but obviously, uh, if the game's not getting support anymore, that's never gonna happen from anybody but modders. And I'm still holding out hope for a third version, because I love this game. Absolutely love it. Alright, let's start approaching from this side of the map, because we do have a succession of uh, gas clouds to hide in. Uh, Sword, Son of Wisdom, not going to be so wise, because we're going to send you in to identify the enemy with a nice little markup. Uh, you two can start off with a lock-on stance and switch quickly, otherwise, to reload. Ew, go head out there, find out what we're dealing with. 
You too? Hopefully we can get into the gas god. In fact, wait. I want you here, and I want you here, being shielded. There we go. The enemy are launching fighters, which means we will want to move quickly. Hopefully we can get there early, and you know what, let's speed this up while we're at it. Uh, you can slow down now. There we go. And you can slow down not now. Almost there. Yeah, we should be able to force the enemy fighters back. And in fact, we are going to turn here and launch a couple volleys of uh, Meltatorps at the enemy, especially as they approach. And oh, I just sent you into the... Uh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> I did not mean to send you into the asteroid field there, buddy. Son of wisdom. <laughs> you guys should have been wise enough to know to avoid that. <laughs> Don't follow a stupid order. Alright, let's speed it back up. And you are good. Alrighty, enemies are coming. They are not apparently shielded. You, let's sit you over here. I want you to be able to get out. Oh, but I also don't want you to interfere with our volley of torps. Alrighty, let's have you stay where you are. Get ready to torp them. I wish I could see where more of them are. Yeah, because this, this spread is too wide right now. But we'll probably manage to hit at least a couple. You know, let's do it once. And then you go in. Almost ready to mark up the enemy and then hightail it into that uh, smoke cloud to try to uh, survive. Obviously a bunch of the enemies are running south. There's more over here. See, I wish I had known that earlier. Will you guys hit? Uh, please don't please don't be between the enemy ships. Looks like none of these are hitting. Oh, oh, looks like somebody got hit here. And you guys, at least two of these should hit right there. Lovely. Oh, another one hit there. Or was destroyed by turret fire. Course engaged. Alrighty, can you mark the enemy up yet? No. But that was worthwhile, especially as we will have another volley of torps ready to go in a second. Uh, I think I'm just going to go in for another uh, volley of Meltas. I prefer to save the regular torps for closer combat, personally. There we go. And you. You can mark up these two. You know what? Engage. Get the fire started and get the hell out of there. Get out. Alrighty, we got some small ships here so we can launch one of these um, plasma bombs. Oh, damn, that uh, volley of torps went wide. Unfortunately, we're going to target their leader first, target that deck, try to cripple their morale, especially as I understand the morale does have changes in the uh, in the Skalgrim mod. You start going behind the ship here so that you're shielded. You should survive, I hope. Turn off, turn that off. Damn, okay, you know what? Go into brace. You keep hiding you. All right, we might be able to pop you into reload right now. There we go. And still get a nice volley off of regular torps right there. And you cannot repair. You might die. You know what? Pop you into the cloud. Oh, you're probably marked up and identified, which is kind of what's causing a problem right now. All right, try to escape, I think. You're pretty close to the edge of the map, so if you escape, you should be able to, rather. All right, and you should be quite dead. I can't see these guys anymore, so I think what we'll do is we'll send out ordnance in a few seconds. Especially since they've identified us. Oh, damn, their shields are back up. Oh, no, their shields are back down. Ah, uh, that's what happens when you're uh, trying to fight a battleship, guys. Lovely. And it looks like we got simultaneous explosions. I saw a smaller ship explode over here now. You. Ordnance, identify the enemy, please. Stormhawk Squadron, get out there. Ah, hello. All right, you. Try to get between the enemy ships. You can uh, slip out of this uh, smoke cloud now. You go for a nice assault. And what else do we have here? We have honor the chapter, two assault actions. Do it. And switch into reload stance. You stay where you are and boarding action, please. Uh, you do not ram. Stay where you are. Again, do not need to use supercharged void shields. I want you to get a nice volley of torps into you. You should be quite dead. There we go. Perfection. And turn around. Right there. All right, this fleet should be just about done. This little ship will probably survive. We'll target it as number one now. And it should be dead in a second now. There we go. Unless they have another ship hiding somewhere. Sometimes the AI does do that. And bombers, take it out. Ram it to death, please. There we go. Smash to the side and gone. And that should be it. Perfect. Alrighty, unfortunately we're rapidly running out of time in this episode, but I'd like to uh, get at least another administrative turn going.
Let's see how close we are to getting to that level two. Man, I'd love to see a fleet with several of these Agamemnon ships. Obviously, oh, you're lost in, no, your Geller field is damaged. Not a disengaged game. For a second, I thought it would be lost in the warp. Not that we really care about a freaking firestorm, but nonetheless. All right, Vorga Torque. Hey, you are going to be conquered as well. Early aggression. That's how you win these games. Uh, just like Total War, to be honest. Hey, you're good where you are, and I guess we're going to end the turn because there's nothing to upgrade. And what I was saying is, obviously, I'm going to go for maximum variety in terms of fleets. I did that uh, in my original runs as well, i.e. vanilla runs, and that's not going to change now that we have so damn many ships to play around with. I can't wait to have various fleets that are uh, specialized at completely different things. It'll be real Real fun. Oberon, Retribution, Emperor, Apocalypse. I'm familiar with you guys. Okay, you know what? We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll take a look at that later. This is not the time. Let's end the turn. Alrighty, will Chaos start trying to assault any of our places? Wow, they gained 255. Okay, I see that the AI still cheats in terms of getting being able to build way too many ships. Because uh, we can't match that kind of ship production even close. Oh, well. Now, we do have upgrades. Asteroid Fields, free upgrade to the shipyard. Well, not so much free, but it is an upgrade to the shipyard. Uh, Forge World as well. So we are now getting 50 money per turn. I'm just going to call it money because I always forget what they call it. You, Minor Shipyard, upgrade. Now, you three. We could try to hit Fremos or we could try to hit Barisa. We got an Agri World here and we got another Agri World here, unfortunately. Ideally, we should try to head towards Cantrail because it's another minor shipyard as well as another Forge World, but you, my friend, cannot reach there. Which means... Wait, can we even fight this? It'll be a much bigger battle because they have 500 here. Hmm. Oh, wow, and you're actually starting to run low, aren't you? I still feel like we might be able to pull it off. Wait, let's see. New ships. Might have to sacrifice some ships, I'll grant. Select a shipyard. Wait, what? We can't select it. Why can't we select a shipyard? Demios Binary, Clauston. Oh, is it because we Kelotas is not conquered? Damn, we're going to have to wait until next turn. I think it's because there's no path here. I imagine that that's how it works, but I'm not 100% sure. In fact, if we conquer it right now... Cadia survivors. Survivors emerge from the ruins of Cadia, looking for a way to avenge their kin. They offer their lives and anything they saved as a war effort to the Imperium. You receive 100 resources for 10 turns. Oh, swell. I like the sound of that. Now, can you activate those shipyards? Yes, indeed you can. Okay, so it was just the pathway that we were lacking. The war planes, I suppose. Now, we don't have a level 2 unlocked yet, so it's pointless to try to build cruisers. We're going to, as I said... Yeah, let's build a cheap Defiant. Get some cheap Ordnance in there. Because we completely lack launch base. And I guess another... You know what? I'm not going to build another Firestorm because Clauston is now able to build bigger ships. So that means next turn we should be able to get either another Defiant or maybe even a Defender out. And that'll be better. So that's you. Uh, I think we're going to wait with producing anything from the... Uh, uh, from the Imperial Fist, or Imperial Fist, the Space Marines. The thing is, generally, or at least in vanilla, I never liked the Vanguard line of cruisers, and they were fine in multiplayer. Uh, but in single player, where you're microing a little bit less heavily, and especially with the massive battles, uh, where it's a little bit harder to micro, the Space Marine ships are just too fragile to bother with, uh, huh, Vanguard 1500 versus 2500. I wonder if that's been modified. How, how, how do you compare to the other ships? Like, so let's see, a light cruiser, 400, 1500 versus uh, Endeavor. You are at 600. It actually matches this light cruiser, doesn't it? Hmm. Nonetheless, the smaller ships are too fragile, or at least for our purposes right now. Anyway, let's end another turn, and then we will attack one more battle this episode. Please stop building massive amounts of ships. Where did you just go? Oh, damn it, we were, I was going to attack this. Now it's not possible. Uh, okay, that's kind of concerning. Which means we can't attack you. We have to turn around and attack Barisa instead. One, two, three. We can still do it, though. All right, well, if it's the only choice, it's the only choice. I'm going to skip upgrading the Agro Worlds, I think. Just because we don't have the cash to do it right now. I do want troop regeneration increased. But that won't do anything for us right now, either. We need money. We need money more than anything, really. Ah, but the spamming agri-worlds does reduce cost. 
But it's not worth it yet. It'll be worth it later. I will... Uh, I'm gonna skip that. Alright then. I'm gonna change this up. You. Uh, let's build one more... Let's build one more Defiant. And then... Do we have room for another Defender? Yeah, we do. These are relatively cheap. You know what? Let's do that. And then let's give you... No, 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 no. Let's give you... A... Uh, honestly, maybe I should have been putting the Defiance on the, hmm, Spear. What the hell is a Spear? Uh, let's see, we got two Macro Batteries and a Melta Cutter. Number of attacks, one, damage 800, reload, range 4,500 units. So it's a very short-ranged, I don't know what you are, which means you're new, which means I'm going to recruit you and I'm going to check you out this battle. Let's do that. Alrighty, let's fight this. Uh, this so may be a little bit more dangerous, but that's fine. All three of you. Let's do it. Battle for Barisa will be the culminating battle of this episode. Looks like we're about even, although I bet the enemy has a uh, some bigger ships, although they don't have anything like a battleship. I wonder if they have cruisers, or will they only get cruisers when we get cruisers? Let's find out. I'm gonna hit skip this some of the time, but I'm also gonna take in the visuals some of the time. Uh, just because it's too awesome. All right, good enough. Now, what do we have? We'll have to set this up carefully. Take control of the captures. Oh, damn. Now, this is not ideal. Not really what I wanted. So here's what we do. We're gonna have you move up all the way to the center, run silent, go right here. We will have our sword. Do the exact same thing, but over here. In fact, maybe we should do that the other way around. Like so. And then you three. Uh, you guys are going to go into reload, because you're just going to be spamming stuff. And your weapon is a light lance turret, which means you could face anywhere. You're basically going to be hiding behind our battleships. Oh, you know what? We have a gas cloud here, which means we're probably better off hiding you guys in the gas cloud. And then moving towards this instead, and leaving the enemy to take that. Since we're about even and we can actually lose chips, sh chips, uh, ships here, I'd rather be a little bit more strategic. Uh, yeah, you're going to still head up out there. And I guess you two can capture this. Like that. Alright, let's do it. Uh, you, forward, Give forward, I think I wanted to put you into lock-on at the start of the battle. You're going to move up and try to capture that. You guys are going to do the same. Go and speed it up as well. In fact, let's try to head towards those, uh, capture points a little bit faster than the enemy will. And just gotta make sure we don't burn out our entire gauge. How's everybody looking? Aye, Admiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, the enemy will probably be launching Shows Ordnance. You slow yourself down. You get ready to slow yourself Cruising down. You guys. Okay, you guys are good now. And Ship you ready. will be good in a couple seconds. Yes. Cruising Just gotta remember, set. you are... Oh, damn. We didn't take our entire fleet. I didn't realize that. Because we only have two uh, capital ships. Or... Damn. That's a shame. Your orders. Uh, okay, that's an issue. I needed- we needed to check our, uh, order of battle thing. Okay, well. Oh, well. Are these bombers or fighters? I- I don't know. Oh, we can check the symbols. Whoops. I'm relearning the whole thing, so. I do expect some, uh, growing pains, or re-growing pains, I suppose. Alright, you guys go in here, and you know what? I was... Uh... Hmm... I'm almost tempted to pop you into lock on so that you can actually do some support fire, but maybe not. You, will you be able to identify the enemy? Try to go into this gas cloud and capture this at the same time, although I don't believe that actually works. You can start moving ahead and you're gonna go into reload. Oh, you know what? Get some of that, uh, get some of those Meltatorps going right away. And pop this right there. If they're gonna stand in place, we might as well burn them with a nice volley. You two stay where you are. I am listening. And you stand lock the on. Yeah, yeah, the enemy has seized the strategic point and <laughs> uh, escorts here. Unfortunate for the enemy. You not close enough to identify them, unfortunately. But that's okay. You. Oh damn, you've been detected. Send a set of fighters out here. 
We're going to turn and we're going to fire on the enemy. You can move right here as well to help out. You guys, squadron, don't bother. Nah, I was about to say squadron retreat, but we need them to protect our battleship. Aha, hello. Target, main target, please. You took quite a bit of damage. We are going to identify you, and we're going to make sure that you keep getting fired on their admiral. Oh, you're about to get rammed. Damn, nice ram. Okay, you're dead. Sorry, sword. Oh, but the ram actually killed it, which actually works out. All right, forward. Maximum burn. The enemies are getting reinforcements, and I do expect we will not be getting reinforcements. Uh, you go right into this gas cloud in a second. It looks like the enemy is going to follow you with a set of ordnance, and we don't have any protective ordnance left, unfortunately, which means you... And you can't emergency warp jump, yeah. Well, you were always going to die like that. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. All right, let's send you guys forward. Let's send another set of ordnance right here to identify the enemy. We do need to be able to identify them a little bit better, but we don't have the skills quite yet, And considering we're only using two admirals right now. Oh, and we got a new... Uh, you know what? You, get out. Get out. Let's see if we can't get a bigger ship on the field. I think that we can't, but might as well try it. All right, you. Get in amongst them. Wolf amongst the sheep. And you guys, start launching squadrons of bombers on, let's say, the enemy admiral is dead, but I do imagine they have another one. You need to move forward. Uh, you're going to go into repair and reload and start firing in both directions. I'll slow it down in a few seconds for some action shots. I just want to uh, make sure that we're in the right place. Hello, enemy is moving directly towards us, which sounds to me like a nice time for a torp volley. You too. Keep moving. And, ooh, yeah, you're taking damage now. Uh, okay, you are almost dead, number one target, please. Uh, we're gonna have to follow you along. You are going to repair. We need to use a Chapter's Honor. Oh, we can't use Chapter's Honor. Oh, damn. We're gonna have to take some time to repair afterwards. Can you ram this? It's gonna hurt you, but it'll hurt them a lot more. There we go. Now we should be fine. It's a little bit of a tougher battle, and I did say I was going to get some action shots, so we might as well do that now. You two, start aboarding the enemy, since you're not doing too much all the way back there. You're both in reload anyway, so you might as well make use of it. Spire, be careful. We lose the campaign if he dies, so... <laughs> oh, I have a bad habit of be of not being careful enough with, uh, with the lords, or with uh, fleet captains in this game. We wait your command. Alright, so what I wanted to see was, well, basically that, but it happened already. Uh, I need you to turn and start firing on this Eternity of Hatred. Not a bad name. Void Inquisitor. Oh, I like that. And let's see. Oh, look at those little launches. Adorable. And how are we doing over here? I'll speed it back up in a second. I just want to board you, and you know what? Shark Assault Boats. Let's spam boarding Shark on you. Try to destroy your right. deck. We should be... Oh, I should have sent bombers against you. I didn't realize how hurt you were. We it's okay. Ready. It's okay. You should be fine. I really wish we could go for a call to arms, but yeah, let's get back up. Not going to be the case. You have accumulated 25%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to accumulate the strategic points, because most likely, we will be able to destroy the enemy outright. We serve. There we go. Oh, okay. Spire, brace for impact, please. Uh, stop here and get a volley of torps. You are going to be dead to that torps. Wait, execute Spire? <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, we should still be able to win this. Uh, this ship is basically dead if we send a Thunderhawk. Uh, no, an Annihilator Squadron. Send it to you. You should be quite dead. You too. You're going to need to repair. You're going to stop. You... Honor the chapter. Ship ready. Wait, can we rally you with... You have Intensity. rally, don't you? Now you have call to arms, you don't have rally. Damn, okay, that's a shame. Oh, the enemy wants to ram you. Okay. Well, that's fine. There we go, it's another ship down. You are not repairing. You need to repair now and brace for impact as well. You need to do the same thing, at least until your shields are up. Spire is not coming back. And he's not firing, unfortunately, which is the biggest issue. You... You might die, but you don't. You didn't cost that much, so it's not a huge deal if you do. Starhawk Bomber Squadron, we need to destroy this ship, and we should also probably destroy a tiny little ship as fast as possible. I say we go honor the chapter, keep targeting that deck. They're still firing on Spire, and go for another Bomber Squadron. Okay, you're dead, buddy. 
Uh, get a get a nice lightning strike in there first. There we go. Aha! Perfect. This is what I wanted. Now you're finally in here. Go, go, go. Oh, wow. You spawned really far away, didn't you? Fire's okay. Where should we strike? Uh, I'm glad that we can end this particular episode off on a nice battle. All right, let's destroy you two firing in both directions at the same time. You should be able to help out with that. Do a high energy turn and go for an emergency repair as well. Don't really care if you die either, but you can certainly get a couple volleys off. Uh, you need to max speed all the way over here. Okay, you. Try to run. Try to hide. Break on through. through. <laughs> to the other side, just amusing myself. And you turn, we need one more hit on yet. Try to go for number one target. You switch, uh, turn to lock on and fire from a distance. As long as you don't run away, that ship is done. You're gonna be our number one target now. Show us the enemy. I love this little dance. And you don't need to repair. Actually, this uh, light cruiser is doing great work. I mean, Spire took all the damage, but he also dished out massive amounts of damage. Vectors. Turn on lock on, and what do we have here? Son of... Oh, that's a you. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about the strategic areas. They won't win. You, start launching Starhawks bombers. You should be dead. You, Thunderhawks, a launch. We need to board you repeatedly. Uh, honor the chapter. I know our en engines are damaged, but we can get more mileage out of that, especially if we cripple this guy's deck, and then that'll force him to rout. You're already firing over here, but unfortunately our Enginarium is damaged, which means we can't lightning strike. You're not close enough either. What is this? Oh, oh, that's the Spear Light Cruiser. Oh, I would have loved to test you out. What the hell? Huh. Oh, I guess it's an older design, because it looks like a Chaos Ship. Fascinating. It looks like a Chaos Ship prow. Well, obviously, uh, Chaos Ships are... Uh, but it also looks like a Admech Ship. Interesting. I want to read about this ship. In terms of its lore. Could have been a stolen design. Or it could have been a, uh, a traitor design. I.e. most of them from most of the uh, ships of the design Trust could have turned traitor, I don't know. Active. That'll be fascinating. Uh, let's see, you are almost Where dead, and I believe strike? you are the last ship here. Let's get another lightning strike on there, and with the, uh, with the amount going, you should be done. Thunderhawk Squadron, I think you're done. You'll go into Drifting Hulk mode, and you can get away from them while you're at it. Unfortunately, the Imperious Draconis is not going to be able to make it here, and there we go, that should be the victory. Perfect. Spire's gonna need to take a, uh, a minute or two to repair, and we might have to try to fight off a enemy assault if they try to take back one of their plants, which is gonna be hard because we don't have enough ships yet. Just don't have the uh, shipyards to, pu to uh, push them out. I do wonder how much XP we got. Will we be able to- whoa, 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 what is this? Warp Trauma reduces 5% of the bravery of the, until uh, next turn. Yeah, it's fine. The ship suffers 500 to 100 damage. Warp Titan. Oh, I said an attack by a Warp Titan. Okay, Defiant. Yeah, damn, we didn't level up to two, which means no cruisers. And yeah, yeah, we lost the Defiant, but that's okay. The enemy lost their entire fleet. There we go, we took Barisa. Not that I really care about taking Barisa, but it's better than nothing. And now, with that, we are now out of time. So I am going to have to call it here. And next time will be an interesting episode because we will probably have to sit by and wait until the enemy transfers a fleet somewhere where we can attack them. Alternatively, it's going to take Spire quite a while to repair, especially as we don't have... Uh, too many like look how slowly he regenerates troops i probably should have popped that call to arms earlier but we really needed the brace for impact so that he didn't take too much damage and die and then we'd lose <laughs> after all and then we can take Xerxia technically but i'd really rather take one of the other worlds that actually offers us something when Xerxia, oh Xerxia does offer us something as well mm, yes in fact i i should have gone here shouldn't i have i forgot about it i completely forgot about it that was a mistake I was going to go for Fremos, and then the uh, Chaos ships went here, and I was just like, oh, this is the only one in range, but Xerxia was always in range. Damn. Oh, well. That'll be our start goal for next episode. At the very end of the day, we'll probably only lose a couple turns to that, so it won't be a huge deal. We didn't get to try out the Spear, unfortunately, but uh, next episode we'll change up the order of battle and try to change, or deployment order, rather, and actually test that out. I mean, we've been doing a decent job of testing out the Agamemnon, which has been performing reasonably well, although I haven't been ramming nearly as much as I would like to with it, just because, I mean, look how much damage it took there. Ramming more 
would have been a bad idea. We will also be able to choose another thing for Spire. Most likely, I'm going to go for Supercharged Void Shield. I used to spam Micro Warp Jump on everything, but in the uh, current iteration of the game, the six second delay where the ship can do nothing just hurts too much. And is often not worth it. And Spire will sometimes need to survive, which makes me think once again that uh, Supercharged Void Shield is probably the way to go. Especially as he will most likely be piloting a Titan at some point. Uh, if there's a Titan that has Torps. Because since he has short burn torpedoes, there's no sense in uh, not using a Titan. Anyway, uh, those are all problems for the next few episodes. Hopes you got, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this, because I certainly did. Uh, and stay tuned for more uh, space battles. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and rate comment to support the channel. It really does help. As always, all glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.